Well, tripods is a methodology which is based um, on, on facts which were found in incident investigations. So many investigation methodologies focus on facts finding. But once you have done this facts finding, the question is what are you doing with it? And Tripod is able to, to help to structure that information in such a way that you might look to the data in a different way. It's one of the methods that has incorporated human behaviour in the analysis. And um, why is that important? Uh, when we talk about safety, then we talk about managing our processes, putting barriers in place to um, control our processes. And uh, barriers are kept in place by people, and people, they make mistakes. So when an incident occurs, then you can deduce that uh, we lost control somewhere, and then you look at the barriers that failed, and then you come to look at people making errors. And the next step is, why did they do what they did? Why did they do something to cause an incident? Tripod helps you also to focus to the human behavior aspects. Um, so Tripod is a methodology which is trying to find the, uh, what good people's intention were in the process, but ultimately it went in another direction to an incident. Tripod takes that knowledge of what are good theories, what are good models that the academic community produces and turns it into something that's actually practically useful for investigations. If accidents are fundamentally unpredictable, the outcome of the accident is unpredictable, you have to ask yourself, but how can we defend ourselves against these impossible accidents? It's by looking at the systemic factors that lead to them and find ways to safeguard yourself from these latent failures from occurring. And, and, and that's what barrier-based management is basically all around. So if you ask me what Tripod Beta is about, then it's about uh, looking at processes at an organizational level to see um, how people are seduced to do things that cause an incident. So it all started off as a, as a human error prevention project. Um, and we developed the idea of barrier-based thinking and that was translated in something called the Swiss cheese model. So we have layers of defense. And that was also quite a new concept. So the whole idea was there's not a single layer, but there are several layers of defense and they have some, there's also a hierarchy in those levels. You have managerial controls, procedural controls, individual controls. So it opened up a whole new universe of control uh, mechanisms that organizations could use to prevent incidents.